espagueti, en eggs, eh, etc. That's it, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry, but I see some problems with the internet, okay? So I hope we we can finish with the with the class with not without having any problems, right? So that's been quite good, people. It's been quite good. Think for you to do your best. It's really uh, really hot here. Okay, and let me see, I don't know you. Well I have a Daniel. And Maria, I don't know if you prepared something for everybody here. Hello. Hello. Bueno, hice ahí las preguntas y le puse algunos cambios. Y mis compañeros creo que están solo como oyentes por el momento. Okay. Can you por ejemplo, yes. What department do I supervise? I supervise the accounting department. What What branch do I oversee? I oversee the central branch. Who do I report to? I report to the financial manager. Where does my company manufacture? My company manufacture in La Libertad plant. What do I do? I train the new staff. Only teacher. Okay, you train the new staff. Yes. Okay, very good, Daniel. Daniel, that was so fantastic. And I don't know if this, if, if we have anybody else. Alguien más que quiera compartir lo que trabajó? No. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna try to finish um, with the, with the following activity. Okay, in order to check what you did in the PDF. And then, well, you're gonna have a homework. Let me see. Oh, we have this, right? So we have been working with this topic tonight. And what I heard, give me a second. I heard that some of you finish this part. So what department does Marta manage? Marta manages the sales department. Okay, this is the this is the statement or this is like the answer. And you are in charge of creating that question. If you have it, just share it with the rest, okay? But I think Mer Merlin already finished, right? But let's see what, what else do we have here. What do you do, teacher? And the number two? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? Good. I supervise the maintenance department. Good. What about Claudio? Claudio oversees the branch in Ilopango. What about Claudio? What about the statement with Claudio? What branch what? does Claudio oversee? Okay, which option right branch does claudio oversee ah it's which yeah which i think it's better yeah i think it's better which one which one uh, does Claudio oversee? Uh, he oversees a branch in Ilopango. The assemblers, number four, report to the super to the supervisor. Who 
who do who do the the assemblers report to report to good and number five, we manufacture in the Santa Ana plant. En esa, tengo dudas. So, what's uh, the where, where, where does, where does, does where, mm -hmm. where do or where does? Esa es mi duda. Uh, okay, so well, if we have we, la puse das. If we have das. we, das, where, where does we? what? Porque se refiere a la planta. A la compañía. A la compañía. Yeah, so how do you where create does? it then? Don't you think it refers to like this? Where do you manufacture? Where do you manufacture? Where so the answer is we manufacture in Santa Ana plant. Yeah. yeah. Where and do you manufacture? In Santa Ana plant. Number six. Douglas trains the new staff. What does Douglas do? Who? Yes. Who? What? Uh... But listen, with who there is something that you need to keep in mind. Who do you train in the new stuff? Yeah, let me see. Who does, who does Douglas train? Uh, now listen, listen carefully because I hear who trains the new staff. Who trains the new uh, staff? Who trains the new? Now staff? listen carefully because I hear who is a subject. If you see, if you see, in the last one, ya no use ni do ni does. Por qué? Mm -hmm. Porque who. Si yo, si yo, digamos, para, para que lo, lo comprendamos de una mejor manera, veamos. Who, who oops. Va, esa es la que queremos ver de todas maneras. Who trains the new who, stuff? Si who? yo poquito who y le pongo Douglas... ¿Qué sucede? Y le quito el signo de interrogación. ¿Qué mm. sucede? Es cierto. Es the answer. Ah, es la mm. respuesta. Te quiere decir que who aquí es el sujeto. Who. Cuando tengamos así, lo vamos a poner como que estamos usando tercera persona. Who trains the new staff. Mm -hmm. Ok, ahora, who trains, ¿quién entrena? ¿Quién entrena? No es lo mismo a quién entrena. ¿A quién entrena él? Ok, who, vale, si, yo le pus, si yo pusiera a quién o a quiénes entrena él, entonces, who does Douglas train? Ahora sí, usar el, el auxiliar. ¿A quién es él? Entrena. Pero aquí la pregunta no es a quién es él entrena, sino quién entrena al, al, al nuevo personal. Uh 
¿Ok? ¿Se nota, ¿Se nota la diferencia? Kind of difficult. So if, if you, you have some troubles with it, we're going to try to. We're going to try to see it once again, okay? Douglas trains the new staff. Who trains the new staff? Douglas, okay? Douglas trains the new staff. Who does Douglas train? So the, we have two different questions, right? ¿Quién entrena al personal nuevo? Douglas. ¿A quiénes entrena Douglas? Es, es, son dos preguntas diferentes, ¿ok? Ok. So, well, little by little, don't worry. I think we can see some other examples tomorrow. But, well, today was quite good because we were like practicing what we studied in basic English one, basic English two, and now we are just seeing the same info, not the same, but the same grammatical structure with some new, uh, with a, with a... Teacher. Tell me. One question in the six question. Okay. Uh, who do you, who do you train the new stuff? Is correct question? Who do you train? Okay. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, once again. Douglas trains the new staff. Yes. Okay, so who trains the new staff? Si yo pongo, who trains, lo pongo como que estoy afirmando, es porque who está, está sustituyendo al sujeto. Okay, who, acá se convierte en un sujeto. Who trains the new staff? Es bien diferente a que si dijésemos... Who does? Do class. Train. Okay. Okay, acá, who, ya no es este mismo, who. ¿Quién entrena? Aquí ya nos dice quién, a quiénes Douglas entrena. Ok, Aníbal. Yes, teacher. Ok, ok. ¿Es that right, Fernando? Yes, that's right. Okay, so later we can see some, some other examples. Okay, don't worry. So listen, people, for tomorrow, yo sé que se, me han hecho caso y que han trabajado, se han estado aprendiendo muchos verbos, muchísimo, presente, forma base, pasado, y pasado, participio. Si ustedes se dan cuenta acá, el día de mañana vamos a empezar con un tema. Let me see si lo puedo visualizar acá. Pasado. Ahora este, vimos algunos ejemplos con pasado. So this is the topic we started tonight, right? Okay. So the topic for tomorrow is about simple past statements and just not questions. Ahora vimos presente simple con double H question. Mañana. Si Dios permite, vamos a ver el pasado simple. Y preguntas con pasado simple. So that's for tomorrow. Como yo, yo sé que ustedes han estado aprendiéndose muchos verbos, mañana yo voy a, a preguntarles, por lo menos, que me digan 25 verbos. Voy a elegir algunos de ustedes. 25 verbos. Why do you laugh? <risa> Es mucho pedir, en realidad son, son muchísimos verbos, 25 es muy poco. Ok. Be, was, were, being, speak, spoke, spoke, and drink, drunk, drunk. Y entonces voy a elegir como a tres personas, ¿ok? A tres personas. 
para que nos digan 25 verbos, por lo menos en forma base y en pasado, que es lo que vamos a ver mañana. ¿Ok? Ok. Eh, uh, uh, well, mm, se los iba a dejar de tarea, pero mejor lo vamos a, a trabajar en clase. Ok, so see you tomorrow, people. God okay. bless you. Okay. So, any question, any comment? Any question, any comment? No, no question. No, no questions, no comments. No. Okay, well, hopefully I will see you tomorrow. And okay. have some coffee just before getting into the class. Uh, take a <laughs> bath, okay? So you don't get well, sleepy in the class, okay? Hey, well, hey well. I saw some of you like, well, like, like this, right? Algunos estaban con los ojitos cerrados. No, alguno voy a decir. Que no fueron algunos, ¿ok? Hey, este, preparemos la tacita de café porque en realidad sí es necesario que estemos al 100% atentos. Que este, acá empezó a llover y eso me perjudicó que un par de minutos, pero, pero se solventó el asunto. Y este, pero sí necesito que. Y cuando claro, hagamos grupos, tiempo, no hagamos lo mejor que podamos cuando estemos en la sesión, que nos mantengamos con los ojitos bien despiertos, participando, ¿ok? Porque eh, el esfuerzo vale la pena. El esfuerzo vale la pena, ¿ok? Ya van a pasar a otro nivel. Apenas vamos a la segunda semana. Ah, otra cosa. Esta semana es para midterm. ¿Se recuerdan, verdad? Semana 2. Siempre yeah. tenemos yeah. midterm. Hay que hacer ese midterm. Estaba visualizando en la plataforma que la semana uno la mayoría ya lo terminó. Sin embargo, hay como uno o dos participantes que todavía no se han logrado poner al día. Y es necesario que lo logren, que lo hagan. ¿Ok? Recuerden, se vamos a buscar el 100% que es the top notch. Top notch es como la nota más alta. Así que pues, let us see tomorrow, people. Good night. Okay, good night. See you see tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night, people. Night. Good night. God bless you. God bless you.